All right, in this video, we're going to show how to set up online banking services uh, inside of QuickBooks. So most likely, if you haven't customized your icon bar already, you're going to have an online banking button right there. You can click on that. You can also go up to banking, down to online banking, and set up account for online services. And then even further, if you want to, you can go into your chart of accounts, and you can click on a bank account, right click on it, edit the account, and set up online services. Okay? So I'm just going to do it right from the icon bar for now. So you say online banking, and it tells me you don't have any online banking accounts set up. Would you like to set them up now? Yes, please. And just tells you it's going to close all the open windows, so that's fine. So you say yes again. So first it asks you, which QuickBooks account are you setting up online banking for? So we'll just say for bank account A for now. And we'll say next. Then you enter the name of your financial institution. So if you have Bank of America, start typing Bank of America, it comes up there. Okay, if you have, you know, Chase, it comes up, Wells Fargo, it comes up there. All right, so... I'm going to choose Wells Fargo for now, and you can say next. Okay, so it's going to connect to the financial institution. Now, there's two different ways with Wells Fargo. Every bank's going to be different. First, let me say that. Every bank's going to have a different way that they connect with QuickBooks. Some banks, they will have an export to IIF file and then import it into the QuickBooks file. It's not my favorite way to do it because that way... You can actually export to IAF, import it into QuickBooks, and everything gets posted. It doesn't go through the actual online banking center area. Um, the potential for error there is that if you import it twice, it means that it's going to be posted twice. And there's no way to mass delete those after you've already posted them. So... That's not the way I prefer. Uh, other banks have these things like Direct Connect. So you can download it to what's called a .qbo file. Um, and I'm sorry, Web Connect, which is download to a .qbo file. And in the .qbo file, when you import it into QuickBooks, it gets imported into the online banking center. And when it gets imported there. It doesn't post the transactions. You have the opportunity to review them and match them to transactions already in QuickBooks and, you know, review the transactions ahead of time before, you know, it doesn't post them right away. So that uses a feature um, inside of QuickBooks online banking. But to do that, you do have to log into your banking account. So it's not a direct connection. You have to log into your Quick your uh, Wells Fargo account in this instance. You would log into your Wells Fargo account, navigate through the different areas, click on download activity, and download it into QuickBooks. Okay? And we're going to show a little bit on the Web Connect area. They also have the Direct Connect. Now, notice how QuickBooks gives you an option here. So Web Connect's usually free. Uh, because it doesn't have anything with the bank. The bank doesn't usually charge you any money. Now, this is not QuickBooks charging you money when it talks about free. Um, using something like the Direct Connect is going to be the bank charging you money. So similar to using a bill pay service or, through your bank or a direct pay service through your bank, they have uh, a, funny, you know, a fee that applies if you use their services. And that's going to be posted on your bank's website. So if you have questions, you have to go to your bank about that. And usually most of the large banks have a QuickBooks division. So if you call in to your banker and you say, or you call in the 1-800 number and you say, I need help with connecting my QuickBooks to the bank, don't call QuickBooks, call your bank. Because that's, that's the person who's going to have to give you the answers and make sure that you're set up the right way. QuickBooks basically says, you know, we all use as many. Um, we, we, we're used in so many different industries and by so many different customers that it's up to your bank to figure out how to work with us, not for, up to us to figure out how to work with every single bank. Okay. Direct Connect. What's the difference there between direct and web? First of all, it is a direct connection. Some banks do offer, if you write a check in QuickBooks, it'll, you can check mark a box and have it sent to your bank. So it'll do a bill payment through your bank. 
uh, and send the check electronically. You don't have to physically cut a check. Again, some banks do that, not all. Uh, but you do have to look out because they do have fees that will apply. So I'm just going to say Web Connect for now and I'll show you. So now what it's going to do is it's going to take me in uh, and it's going to tell me what are my steps. So first, you have to download your statements from Wells Fargo Bank. Um, you go to your bank, you go to the download area, download statements, and they'll be imported into QuickBooks Online. I mean, into QuickBooks here from the online banking. Okay. So it's pretty simple to set up. Uh, once you're in and you have your, your account set up, um, then we have another video that takes you through the process of, of uh, entering your data once the information is downloaded into QuickBooks. So check out that video too.